welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Dark Souls 3. Now, for today's weapon, got another bow and arrow. Now, there aren't too many of them left. Well, the plain one variety anyway, then we move into the great bows, but I figured, why don't we cover this one next? It was a bit of a strange one. Now, the Dragon Rider bow is not, I'm not sure if it's really a nod to the Dragon Riders of Dark Souls 2, but whatever. It's a bit of a strange bow, for one good reason. Anyway, the description reads, Longbow of the Dragon Riders, who served the old King of Want. I don't have anything to do with the shield of Want I have. Who knows? Same name. The Dragon Riders were the old King's royal guard, and had a great strength that was demanded of him. It was merely drawing of his bow that caused for inhuman strength. There were the few who could match his bow, however, use it to the de devastating effect. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Skill is the puncture, same as the longbow. Pull the arrow back even further for a more powerful shot that can also pierce shields. Well, damage through shields, not pierce. But yes, I guess it's sort of a pierce. Yes, but I wonder if the old uh, king is Vendrick. Though it's funny they don't refer him by name, just call him the King of Want. I assume it's him. But anyway, visually, this is actually a returning weapon for Dark Souls 2. I don't think, I don't remember if we used it enough for Dark Souls 2, but the image I got, the Dragon Riders, the, when you fight two of them at once, real original fight that was. <laughs> anyway, the back one started off using the bow until you took out the other one who was attacking you with the halberd. Spear thing, I think it was. So yes, it's that very same bow he used. Potentially. I'm not sure about that, though. Alright, moving on to the stats for the Dragon Rider bow. Physically, well, we got decent damage. It's above 100. Which is saying a lot compared to a lot of other bow and arrows out there. <laughs> and the bonus damage is okay. For a bow, it's okay. Now, for the range, we got 50. It's pretty much longbow range. So that's what you expect out of this. Now for the true bonus, we got a D and E. D for strength, E for dexterity. Strange, usually be the other way around. For a true requirement, you need 19 strength and 15 dexterity. A little bit of needed, but not too much. Then we have the puncture, which is, you know, goes through shields, or damages through shields. Takes 9 FP. And the weight of the bow is 6.5, which is hefty for a bow. It really is. Just for a bow and arrow, but... Still, hopefully it'll hold up on its own. Mm, hopefully. Let's go over the animations that are here. So they got the basic shot, it's the same speed as every other bow and arrow, not real slower or faster. Then we got the stance, the puncture. This takes longer to wind up, but it's more powerful, as I recall from the longbow. And it can damage through shields. Now let's look at the range. So we'll get to our usual area. Fire. No drop at all, which is nice. No drop. Hits pretty much right on the dot every time from that range. Okay, let's cycle over to the slightly longer range where they start to falter. Right about there. Okay, very minimal drop. A foot at most? Yeah, about a foot drop. So a nice long range. No problems at all with range, which is good. Very good. Now, when upgrading it, you will need Tate Knight Scale? There's the weird part about this weapon. It's not a boss weapon. No, it's not. You don't find it off a boss, you don't transmute it, but it needs Tate Knight Scale. There's only four up, four or five upgrades. So that means every upgrade's a massive one. As we can see with the damage, going up by 18, and the bonus damage, going up roughly 11. So yes, and we're already at the last level. So there you go. A lot of damage on this, actually. Quite a bit. Going close to 300 damage. For a bow and arrow, that is significant, and the next upgrade would increase our dexterity bonus. Anyhow, let's move on to performance. So, in terms of damage, I wonder if we'll do well or not. Now, going, let's see, you got basic damage there, that's pretty good. Most of the, the rest of the bows do 180, so that's quite a bit more damage. And there we go, that's 180 right there, on the body shot. Damn. Certainly is more powerful than the short bows, but however, we're sacrificing a DPS, so. For body shot with the puncture, you got you know, up to 230, 240. It's pretty good. This is actually a viable weapon to use. Well, now, well, as you see, for all the bows and arrows, or the plain bows and arrows, this one's probably the most powerful, easily. Time for some uh, 
headshots. Uh, of course, a swing right by his cheek. Okay, there we go. 430. That's a lot right there. I already know two headshots is definitely enough to kill him. How about body shots? No, oh, hit this head accidentally that time. There we go. 290. Pretty good. Now let's test how well it goes through shields. As I recall, the longbow did around 70. Got between 70 and 50 damage. Now, oh, wrong button. <laughs> got nothing. Don't. Not supposed to use those arrows. But anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, this is, yeah, this is the hard part. It's still just as slow as a longbow for the puncture. These are said and done. Okay, here we go. He's be on the retreat. Uh, okay, and still same damage for going through a shield. That's a bit disappointing, but still, at least it's powerful. As powerful as it is, though, don't fight a Gorgal with it. It's just a bad idea. The short bows can get away with fighting with a Gorgal, but not the long bows. They're not powerful enough. They're not fast enough. It's just a bad idea. Then go through shield and hits, you know, almost 70 damage, but mm, what's the point? Let's go against the Dark Knight, however. The Black Knight. The problem with them is they move rather quick, so there's not much room. I definitely won't get any more puncture shots off. That's to be normal ones. That's if I plan to kill him. We'll see. So yeah, we'll try it. Uh, there we go. Actually, could get a puncture shot off. Just barely, though. Just barely. Yeah, it's just not enough room. Just try it again, but nope. So yeah, against the Black Knights, bows and arrows just don't go so well together. I can hit him, but he's gonna hit me. <laughs> oh well. In terms of damage, it certainly is good, but in terms of speed, it's still lacking. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to the pros and cons of the Dragonair's bow. On the pros, of all the plain bow and arrows, it is the strongest. Which is good. And it actually has a decent bonus damage, which is pretty good. Best of all the plain bow and arrows. All right. Now on to the cons. It is upgraded with Tate Knight scale for seemingly no reason. Yeah. And the special still does the same damage as a longbow, which is a bit of a disappointment. All right. Moving on to the score for the Dragonar's bow. Damage I give eight out of ten. Now this is not this is not a comparison to the great bows. Great bows get their own damaging areas. Of all the short bows, this one, I say, does an 8 out of 10. Reach, also an 8 out of 10. Pretty much the same idea as the longbow. It's no longer, no shorter. In terms of range. Bonus, I will give a 5 out of 10. The bonus is adequate, it was decent, it's pretty good. If it had more dexterity, maybe, or did it draw on strength? I'm not too sure of that one. It's a bit hard to tell. Miscellaneous, I will give it a 7 out of 10. It's actually a bow and arrow that I wouldn't mind using. The other bow and arrows were like, meh. This one actually seems like it gets somewhere. Gets something done. So, in total, the Dragon Rider bow gets 28 out of 40, which is exceptional. This bow is actually pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Just strangely upgraded with Tate Knight's skill for some reason. And there you have it. A pretty damn good bow and arrow, if I do say so myself. In terms of all the bows, I still probably use a great bow, but if I had to use a short bow, or you know, a smaller bow, this would probably be the one I'd use. It's plenty of use, it's at least somewhat more agile than the great bows, and in the end it still has good firepower for how agile it is. But that's been showcased for today, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and i see you guys next time. Take care out there.